Hello friends, this video on statistics part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand a new concept of frequency polygon. See, one more way to represent this quantitative data instead of the histogram is if we join the midpoints of the upper side of the adjacent rectangles. So let's join, got, plot the midpoints of these uh, upper side of these rectangles and also let's plot these two points. They are nothing but the midpoints of the, the classes, the next class and the previous class and let's join these points. So we join these points, what you get is histogram. It is a better representation. Why? This is a better representation. Why? Because you can actually see the slopes. You can see the growth slopes, right? The more steep it is, the more faster the growth is. So it, it, it is a better representation than histogram. So how to get the frequency polygon? If we join the midpoint of the upper sides of the adjacent rectangles of the histogram, we get frequency polygon. Okay. Please note, though there exists no classes preceding the lowest class and succeeding the highest class, so we have just put the addition of two class intervals with zero frequency. And this is done to make sure that the frequency polygon has the same area as the histogram. Why you see, the green areas are common. You see this, this white area is equal to this green area. Because if you make this polygon, this area is out and this gray is in. And this area will be same. Correct? Similarly, this area is out, this area is in. And these areas are all same because this area is equal to this area, this area is equal to this area, right? Similarly, this area is equal to this area, and somewhere this area is equal to this area. Like that, it is all covered, actually, it's all covered, and all these areas are taken care. It should be somewhere here like this. This is incorrect. It should be something like this. Right? So in this area will be equal to this area. So this is done just to make sure that the area of uh, area under the frequency polygon is same as the area of the histogram. Please note the area of frequency polygon is equal to the area of histogram. Let me write that. Area of frequency polygon is equal to area of histogram. This is not must, but we have done this to show that okay, the area is same. Okay. So if you want to actually show the histogram, you can remove the sorry, if you actually want to show the frequency polygon, you can actually remove the histogram as well. That is not required. That is not required. This is the actual frequency polygon. So let's solve one more question. So here also we have to draw a frequency polygon with this data. So 0 to 10 marks, 5 students got, 10 to 20, 10 students, 20 to 34 students, 30 to 46 students. And if you see here, the class interval in all is class size is 10. Right? So we don't have to apply the logic of creating a new frequency. This frequency will hold true. So we can actually create the histogram out of this. So 0 to 10, 5. Similarly, 10 to 20, yeah, 20 10. Similarly, 4 for 20 to 30. So 20 to 30, therefore, 6 for 30 to 40, 30 to 46. Similarly, 7 for 40 to 50, 40 to 57. Similarly, 3 for 50 to 60. Okay, this has to be a little lower, at yeah, almost 3. Then 60 to 70 and 70 to 80, both two sides. So we'll draw two uh, rectangles of height 2. And then uh, 3 for 80 to 90 and 9 for 90 to 100. 3 for 80 to 90 and 9 for 9, uh, we'll draw a rectangle of length 9. Okay, the width are all same because of the histogram and they're all overlapping with each other. This is the histogram we have developed. Now from this, we can easily 
develop a frequency uh, polygon. We'll draw the midpoints. We'll join. We'll draw the midpoints of the upper class, and now we'll join them. Correct. So we have also drawn a midpoint for the pre-class and the post-class, and now we'll join these midpoints. Once we join these midpoints, what you get is a frequency polygon. We can remove that histogram. Okay. But now, if you see, it is a very hectic process to draw frequency polygon. Now, what we have seen in the first, you have to draw a histogram, right? So first, we have drawn histogram. Then we have to get the midpoints, of the upper class, then join them. It's a hectic process. Can we draw the frequency polygon without drawing histogram? Yes, we can. The good news is yes, we can draw a histogram. Uh, we can draw a frequency polygon without even drawing a histogram. For this. What we have to do is we have to draw the midpoints first. Find the midpoint of the class, right? Midpoint of the class if we can easily find, then and midpoint of the class is nothing but class mark. It is called class mark. So we'll have to find the class mark, and that is nothing but upper limit plus lower limit by. As the range of this midpoint, upper limit plus lower limit. But we need to find the class mark, and then you can plot the points, and you can easily find uh, draw the frequency polygon without drawing a histogram. Let's take one example. Example: We will draw a frequency polygon, and uh, if you see the class intervals: 140, 150, 150, 160, 160, 170, 170, 180, 180, 180, 190. Right? So all the class size, if you see, is what? 10. Class size is all same. So we don't have to find new frequency. We can manage with that. Here, what we have to find, we have to find class mark. So let's draw a class mark. So 140 plus 145 divided by 2. Value is 140. 140 plus 150 divided by 2, 145. Similarly, 150 plus 160 by 2 is what? 165. 160 plus 160 plus 170 by 2, you get 165. 170 plus 180 by 2, you get 175. 180 plus 190 by 2, you get 185. So, really 190 plus 200 divided by 2, you get 195. This is the class mark. Correct? So, now we have to plot these points. That's all. Plus, we will take extra points later on. Let's, let's plot this point 145 and 5. So let's take 145 and 5. So this point I'll discuss later. 145 and 5 will be important at this point. Similarly, 150 and 10. That is, sorry, 155 and 10. So on the x, 155 and the y, 10. So 155 and 10, plot this point. Similarly, 165 and 20. So let's plot 165 and 20. Similarly, 175 and 9. So let's plot this point, 175 and 9. Similarly, the next point is 185 and 6, 185 and 6, let's plot this point. And the next point was 195 and 2, so 195 and 2 also we have plotted. So we have plotted this point plus the extra points which I told, one that will be uh, one class mark above here, this is 135 and 0, and it will be 205 and 0 because the next class will be here, 200 and 210. So it will be 205 and 0, so let's plot, plot these two extra points as well. So we have plot all the points. Please note here, here this is my variable class index. Okay. This is a value. So variable is on the x. To the variable here. Values on the y. And the values were ranging from maximum was 20. So we have created the graph in such a way that you have the maximum value of 20. You can have more also, but at least 20 should be accumulated. So now we upload, plot the points and now we'll join these points. So once we join these points, we have got this as a frequency polygon. Pretty easy. So here we drew the frequency polygon without actually creating a histogram. Let's take one more example. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also Get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.